we're back with another SBC roundup and we are decreasing every SBC we've got. The icons are starting to go, even the player SBCs. They're not going to be able to do too many more because they are focused around the Euros. I know we've got the new game or great to the games coming this week. So we'll be interested to see if they're just going to go for an icon hero promo rather than then adding anybody else in. Because before you know it, the Euros, the Copa America will be absolutely done and we'll be on to the shapeshifter, the footers, and then on to the brand new news of FC25. But before that, the first comment I want you to go with is... Are you actually finishing SBCs anymore? Let me know down below because genuinely, I don't feel like I've been excited for many of these SBCs for the past week or two now. There's not really been anybody that's caught my eye. Obviously, the players in the actual teams are decent, but they're pretty unpackable rather than a promo pack. So, if we're going to go into it, we've got the icons still. They have all got collectively not very long to go. We have got three days left for Zanetti. I don't know why he's got so little games to go. Um, you've obviously got nine days for Matthias, 10 days for Lam, 11 for Raul. You've got 17 for R9, 18 for Abile, 25 for Stoichkov, and still five weeks for Perlo. So the values of them, to be honest, I think if I was looking at them, the people that you could still use. If you're looking for coins to improve your team, head over to lootbar.gg for the most reliable and also the best coins around. Also, they have incredible 24 hour manual customer service that you physically cannot find anywhere else. But before finishing on lootbar.gg, make sure you are using JT11 to get 8% off coupon. Once you've gone through the payment, you'll be able to get your coins within the next 24 hours absolutely guaranteed. Also with the code, you'll be able to get 5% more coins on every transaction. Make sure you do click the link either in the description or down in the comment section below. Arguably Matthias, but I could see him getting another card. I'm surprised we haven't seen him. I know Balak got the first center mid, so whether they go for like closer maybe instead, that could be the option for another German icon. You've obviously got Lam. I think he's done now, to be honest. Raul, I think has been done for a while. R9, I think 3.1 mil at this point in the game. If you got him done at the very start, I think it's fine. Even I've benched him now and th there's just so many good strikers out. Abile, no. Stoichkov, maybe, but will depend on what strikers you've got. There is so many better strikers or at least on par strikers that you can get for a lot less than 2.3 mil. Perlo, I think his value is ridiculous and Zanetti has passed it anyway. So already the icons for me, all of them are in the not worth it because I, I just don't think there is an icon here that I'm like, they're going to get an upgrade soon. Ronaldinho has already been leaked. So that's already a massive one coming in for another big upgrade. And this could be one of the final upgrades. I can imagine they're going to try and kind of cycle through every icon and try and give them the quadruple play star plus, but I don't see them not doing most of these icons because to be fair, most of them are pretty up there. I, I will say that like you've got Perlo, he's going to get like a 97, 98. It's got to be. Stoichov, I could see. a Abile being French, I most definitely uh, imagine all of the women getting a huge upgrade to finish off. Raul's definitely getting one. Lam and Matthias must. An R9, I can imagine a final big card. A 98, a 99 R9 is normally what we get in every year. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. We then have in the normal players, we've got ourselves a couple of the heroes left. Again, to be honest with them, other than maybe doing them for the potential of an evolution later on down the line, that's fair enough. Like we saw it with, I don't know who we saw it with. There was a, a hero that you could have done an SBC for and now you can put him into an evolution that makes him a little bit more relevant, which is nice. But we are at the end of the game. So to be honest, handing out pity SBCs, I'm not for it. So for me, Yaya Torre and Bon Pastor are absolutely past it. Royce, on the other hand, now I know this is going to be the final card for Royce. So you could do with it what you will. If you are thinking nostalgic, then do it. Definitely. 800,000 coins. He's going to be the last Royce card. If you want to say that you've got him, fair enough. I did him, but I did him for review. He's been in the club ever since. In terms of actually playing... I don't think he's worth 800k. We've had Javi Simon's SBC that was better, in my opinion. We've then had Sabozalai yesterday for literally a quarter of the price that is at that level. It's got a quadruple play star plus as well. So for me, I don't think he's worth it. I completely understand that 
The nostalgic value of Royce is brilliant, but I still stand with the fact they should have done him at the end of the game. They should have given him a 98th in the flashback form or a moments form of what we got in that FIFA 19, FIFA 18 team of the season. It's It was too early. It was far too early to give him a 96 after just getting a team of the season. So that for me is, is, is their own fault. I would put him in okay-ish because I like the card. I just think they could have done better with the whole scenario with him. My personal opinion with that one. Then we obviously have got the leading up to it. We've got the make your mark. So if we look at the flashbacks and the moments, because we do have press and we do have Benusi. Now, Benusi looks incredible as a card. In terms of pricing, a card himself looks fantastic. A great card all round. Obviously, a big Italian center back back in the, the Euro days, in his Juventus days, and to be honest, his whole career with Chiellini. 90 on the pace, 96, 96 on the defending physical. He's got himself the aerial, the slide tackle, the intercept, and he's got a long ball pass. The only thing he's missing is that anticipate, which would have made him just absolutely light years over everybody, especially for that 100,000 coin profit, uh, price tag. Not bad at all. Like, you looking at the chemistry top, people are going to go anchor, shadow, engine. Like, you literally have got multiple ways you can go. 99, 98. You're getting yourself a 98 overall center back. That is just fantastic in itself. So, I would say... He is great value for the card, in, in my opinion, anyway. Um, then you've obviously got Press. In terms of her SBC, you are looking at a whopping 67,000 for a 95 rated card. Now, she does have the quick step, the power shot, and the first touch. Not necessarily the greatest I would have liked to finesse, possibly. She is five foot six, so we know she's got a decent amount of agility and balance. Shooting-wise, coming in, the only problem with her is she's very standard in terms of a card. She's a 5'4". She could have been a 5'5 five five to at least put her in a little bit of relevancy. Now, I do think in terms of price, she's great value. I don't know if I'd quite go must complete. Must complete for a 95, in my opinion, but I think that would borderline on fodder personally because of the strikers that I've got but I will go with good value for her I think she's decent enough for 67 especially if you are starting a brand new account it'd be very very easy to get her done we do have as well two sets of showdowns that are still available at the moment we got one yesterday which is going to be Nandez and also Sargent it's going to be America versus Uruguay and then we have got for the next two days we've obviously got uh, the Ukrainian Rusland I'm not going to be able to pronounce the name and Unana for obviously Belgium. So this is going to be the final matchup in Group F. F or E? I can't remember where they are. But it's the Belgium-Ukraine game. So that's going to be another interesting one. And prices-wise, looking good. 63k, 79, 79, and 66. Now, in terms of does anybody actually get in the team? Because when you look at them, you've got a centre mid, you've got a striker, a cam, and a DM. Now, if you are making a brand new account, absolutely brilliant and to be fair there is a lot more SPCs you can go with and there's going to be packs and, and all sorts coming out soon but as a brand new account they all get in the lineup you've got a 4 free free sergeant up front nandez in the middle you obviously got the cam the cdm perfect you can go and get all of them done for what about under about 350 maybe even about 320 that's a great value for three 93 midfielders, a 93 striker, and two of them potentially being 95 or all of them being 94 if there is two draws. That for me is, is fantastic value as an SBC. In terms of do they get in the team, I don't think so, to be honest. Like, Unana's got the intercept, bruiser, incisive. That's decent with a five-star weak foot. I don't know actually how tall he truly is. Never actually looked. He's six force. So he's a big old unit when it comes to a DM. Great pace, great defender physical. I mean, you could get a decent amount from him. You've obviously got Rusl uh, Rusl Ruslan, did I say he was? Um, as a cam, 4-5 again. He's got the press proven, the technical and the incisive. Now, I do prefer press proven on more of your Onana type builds. The big six foot four, stocky, great amount of physicality. When it comes to, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure from previous years, I've seen him a little bit on the smaller side. 5'11", I mean, he's not technically that small, but normally your Bonnie faces, your Drogba's, your, who had it recently? Even a Soloff, to be fair, would have it really well to have that press proven. It was Lukaku. Having that press proven as good as that striking role, I'm not too sure how it would work on a cam. Let me know down below if you've tried it. Um, Sergeant, decent striker, good pace, but pretty standard across the board. Relentless is a bit of a waste. Great with a finesse. First touch is okay enough, and he's got a decent amount of striking force behind him, but... 
it's not going to be enough. Even if he gets a 95, I need the quadruple play star plus. I need things changing. I need the 5-5 five five before he really even gets close to being even on the bench. Then Nandez, decent to be fair. He could do with the upgrade. I think if Uruguay do win that, that could be the card that I'd be looking at. So I'd go Sargent and Ruslan up here. And I'd go great value for these two in terms of if they win. But then also what they bring as a... Uh, a person individual in their position because then you could actually look at something decent so let me know down below there what you think then we obviously have got the rest of your make your marks now there is some good ones there is definitely some expensive ones but the first one that i want to talk about is nunez so i didn't know how well uruguay would do so i've held off too much of an opinion on arejo on nunez as obviously their sbcs came out and they have silenced everything. They won their game. Nunez got his first goal already in the tournament, which is fantastic. So with um, his upgrade, obviously when you go into footbin, you can go to the tracker. If you go to your make your marks, and I think they should both... Oh yeah, all of them are here. All of them, yeah, all of them are here. I think. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so if we go to Nunez, as you can see, he's got himself a goal already, which is brilliant for the upgrade, so you could see a 97. He has played, so he's gotten himself the max chemistry. Perfect. And he only needs four more, which would be out of the groups, into the knockout stages, and he'd get the second upgrade, making him into that 98. I've got a good feeling about him. I think he definitely would be a decent one to have a look at. If we was to look at the path to glories as well, just as a quick one, if you did do Arejo as well, he's got himself the first win, which means he goes up to a 96. He needs two more wins to obviously earn a play star plus, and then it'd be the quarter semi-final and all that jazz to get the final upgrades. But that already is looking a decent SBC, especially if he can get that extra play star plus, and if they want to nice us with that anticipate, I mean, I'd be very happy as well. So I do think when it comes to Nunez, I actually, at this moment in time, I, I would probably say he's, he's actually a must complete. In terms of the striker himself, was fantastic. He's the striker that I was on about the press proof. And he's a brilliant, brilliant striker. Why does this seem really small on here? Like, why do I have to keep going down? I don't want it to be in the middle. That's just so weird. So, Nunez, I think, is absolutely must in here. I would then say, when you're looking at the rest of them, Gula, he's only got a few days left, I want to say. I want to say he's really, he's, he's close to finish him. We've got eight hours, in fact. So if you've watched this at the time of uh, actually releasing, fantastic. Because he is must, must complete. Potentially, he could get himself the final upgrade. Whether we see it, it's going to come down to the wire, to be honest. I believe, if I am right, let me have a, a quick look. Our Turkey in the third spot. I can't remember how well they've been doing. They beat Georgia. They lost to Portugal. Okay, I knew, I, as I said, I know they had a, a loss somewhere. So they've obviously got check on Wednesday. So it will be interesting, but I do think when it comes to him, he is definitely going to be worth doing just purely for the price of him in, in general. Like he's coming in at 136,000 coins. He's got himself the chance to get up there with one more goal. It would be a perfect one to get a 96 from him. And the stats in general are very, very good for our cam, and especially for the price. Then we have got Sabozalai. Now, they, to start with yesterday, I was thinking, well, they've got a final game coming up. It's obviously Germany, Scotland, Hungary, and also Switzerland. The third spot is up for grabs. Unfortunately, Scotland didn't manage to secure the bag. They did lose to Hungary, which means Sabozalai does go through to the round of 16, depending on the rest of the results, I believe. But there's a very good chance, and he did manage to get himself that first upgrade, but I don't think he's managed to get the second yet. If you go again into the tracker, you should be able to see it. Where is he? The problem is they don't put it in order, otherwise I'd know I'd go to the bottom. Um, he is coming in. Oh, he's going to be at the bottom anyway. So Bozalai. There's Gula, in fact. Is he... Oh, no, he's still got going. Uh, where, where is he gone? Is he always at the bottom? There he is. So, he, yeah. So he's got the three appearances. He's obviously then got the one goal already. If he could get one more, fantastic, making him into a 96. But then, obviously, he needs two more appearances. So he does need to win this next match, depending on who it's going against. And then there is a chance for him to go up again. So, personally, for me... I think he's worth the risk. I, I really do. For the price that you're paying, for the chance of maybe a goal in the next game, and then a further a kind of a further progression into the tournament, you could look straight swap into a 97 because he's likely going to play. So as long as they win their next match, whoever it's against, 
then they could potentially get him as a 97 if he can get that goal as well. I think that's well worth the risk at this point of the game, especially when you're coming in at 200,000 coins. I don't see that a problem at all. Then we've obviously got a few of the kind of more fodder options. Um, Van der Ven's not included in that. You've got Stefan. You've got yourself a Timothy Way, and then also St Stefan as well. We got two Stefan. Oh, Stephen and Stefan, I suppose. Um, they're coming in really now at very, very little prices, like 54k, 117. Way's got a chance to go up, and all of them do. But realistically, I don't think you could put any on on these, and they be anything more than fodder in my opinion uh way potentially but even then the wingers that we've got I, I just don't think are worth dropping for any of these SBCs. now when it comes to van der ven it was a big question between him and benusi because they came out like days apart you've got 32 hours to go with him and most definitely he's coming in cheap 170k he's got himself the anticipate he's got himself the slide tackle and then also the jockey he will obviously potentially get the upgrade as well. Netherlands are going to go through. So that's always a good shout that if they win their round of 16, he should be able to get through as well. When we do look at the tracker for him, because that's it's going to be the thing is, is looking at these SBCs and thinking, will they go any further? Because we've got the first upgrades. Has he been playing? Has he managed to get two clean sheets? That's going to be the big questions. And if we can find them, that would be nice. They're always at the bottom, aren't they, when I want to look at them? So we go all the way down, and there he is. So they need to get one more clean sheet. So if they actually do manage to just trounce Austria or hold them to a draw, he's going to get the two clean sheets because obviously he's got one against France. And then he's already got the debut, meaning he gets one upgrade. And he's had one appearance so far. So maybe just the one upgrade is looking likely. But I do think even if he just gets to the 95, I think personally he is absolute worth doing in my opinion. That is going to be the list though. Make sure you do like and subscribe on this and I will catch you all hopefully for some more new SBCs next week. Peace.